Many of you have followed me building various robot dog prototypes on YouTube. The latest is Open Dog version 2, which walks relatively well on flat ground. Torque is limited though due to the low reduction from the motors to the joints, although this is also one of the reasons it actually works, and also due to the power of the motors I used in this build. Ideally, every axis needs to be redesigned to make the next version which will be more powerful. At some point there will be an Open Dog version 3, but I really want to experiment with some alternative robot designs first, and I've been thinking for a while about building a robot that can climb stairs and manoeuvre over objects. There are many stair climbing robots on YouTube, but I wanted to try something that's a little different. Essentially, a dog-like robot that has some extra assistance built in. So my design has four legs, and also two other legs with steering wheels on. Let's get on with the 3D printing of the parts and see if my idea works. Thanks to 3D Fuel for the filament for this project and lots of other projects, so check out my channel for more 3D printing projects and check out 3dfuel.com. I'm using these Metal Gear 20kg centimetre torque servos I found on Amazon to make the joints for the robot. These come with brackets that you can easily attach to parts of your robot to make the legs and other limbs very easily. As well as the rigid sections printed in orange PLA, I also printed some flexible TPU sections to make grippy feet so it can grip on the surface it walks on and hopefully climb over objects really easily. These are just screwed onto the bottom and the brackets are screwed onto the plastic parts in a similar fashion. The front legs are slightly different, these have wheels on so we have one kind of hip joint and then we have a knee joint that moves sideways and that allows the wheels to steer. These also have a flexible tyre printed in a TPU material. The main body for the robot is also flexible, so this has joints made of bolts which I've just screwed into the plastic making sure the outer holes are larger so those sections rotate freely, and this will allow the body to flex as it lifts and bends to go over objects. So it's time to attach all of the legs, and I'm just using the brackets provided with the servos which screw into the plastic. The idea behind the design is that the body can bend so that his legs can pick up to get over objects, and those front wheels can pick up even further using the hip joints, and that should allow it to climb up stairs. Added this section to the top which has two servos, and that does allow us to actuate the body and hold it in place. I just use more of the same servos and some 3D printed brackets and levers. The plan is that the middle legs can pick up and down, so during normal operation they'll be folded away and then the robot will run along on its back legs steering with the front wheels. As we can see, this robot is statically stable because it can stand on only one leg and the two wheels, so we don't have to make it actively balance or do anything too clever to get it to function. And that's one of the key things behind this prototype to make it easy to test out the idea. As already demonstrated, the front wheels will steer as it runs along on its back legs, and we should get quite a range of motion there, but we'll have to see how well that manoeuvrability works. There are 14 servos, and they'll happily run on a 7.4 volt LiPo, so I've made a place to fit one in the belly of the robot. I'm using an Arduino Mega to control this robot with an NRF24L01 wireless radio chip. Thanks to Cool Components for the Perma Proto boards they sent me, these have the same layout as breadboard so it's really easy to transfer your design over and solder it down. To control this robot I'm going to be using my standard remote which is another Arduino Mega and an NRF24L01, reading some switches, knobs and joysticks and sending that data over to the other Arduino. I put some code on the robot's Arduino Mega to read the remote data over the wireless link, and now if we move all of the remote sticks on the controller, we can see that we've got all that data. So now we can translate that to the servos, which of course need wiring in, so that we can make the robot move appropriately. I used two Perma Proto boards to make breakout connectors for those servos, and also power distribution that takes them to the battery. The only thing to remember is that you need a common ground to the Arduino, but the Arduino is going to be powered off a separate power supply, so the servos are just powered from the 7.4V LiPo. All of that's fitted onto the robot, and all of those servos are wired in. 
some of the knee motors required extension leads so the wires don't get pulled, but altogether everything is fitted. And that's seven servos on each side of the robot because we have 14 servos in total. Now it's time for a quick ad from the video's sponsor, which is Datacamp. Datacamp is an online learning platform which helps you build data analytical skills such as coding and data manipulation. You can learn at your own pace with interactive courses. Datacamp courses are asynchronous so you can learn at your own pace with no deadlines. There are plenty of beginner courses so no previous experience is needed. You can start learning from something as simple as an Excel 101 course and progress all the way up to learning advanced technical skills such as database manipulation. Learning analytical and data skills is important for many different types of career. After all, most industries are driven by technology and data. So join Datacamp to stand out from your peers in your chosen career path. Datacamp offers every first chapter of every course completely for free. Paid subscriptions start at just $25 a month, but there's no credit card required to sign up and try it out. No special software is needed, Datacamp courses can be completed using your browser. Most of the coding I do is based around C. However, as you may have noticed in some of my videos, I really need to sharpen my Python skills. Datacamp has detailed Python courses starting from scratch with the free course Python Basics. So invest in yourself. Use my link in the description to this video and check out the first chapter in any course for free. I coded up a mode switch on the remote so that I can pick up and put down those front legs which aren't always going to be in use, and that seems to be working pretty well, leaving clearance for the back legs to run along. And I programmed a state machine here with some flags and timers so the legs move in a satisfactory gait. The robot also has a four leg mode and this moves much slower with a higher step so that it can climb over objects, and it's moving in the trot gait with diagonal legs operating in pairs together. This is the steering that's now working, and I just twist one of the sticks on the remote to operate it. The back and front body servos now move in both directions, allowing the body to flex in either direction, and that means in either two or four leg mode, the robot can flex in various directions, up and down, so that it can blend with the terrain and hopefully climb up and over objects. Everything is manually operated on this robot like a radio controlled car, although the legs run along when I push forward on the joystick rather than having to move every axis independently. So now we can test it out in various modes. Well, going in a straight line seems to work okay, but what about those steering wheels? Yep, that seems to work not too bad, although there's no sidestep ability on those legs, which would probably help, and we'll discuss this later. For now though, I'm pretty happy that it can steer, and it's quite manoeuvrable, and I can make quite a tight turn, although the robot is quite long, due to that extra set of legs, which is held up in the middle, which isn't actually currently doing anything. The results are marginally better on a smooth floor because the feet don't get stuck on the carpet as much when it moves and rotates. Obviously these legs can't move sideways as I say, ideally they'd have an extra hip axis like the other open dog and mini dog robots which allow them to move in your correctly. So I'm pretty happy with that, but can it climb objects such as up steps? Let's approach in two leg mode and then switch to four leg mode, picking up those front wheels to help us get some extra height so that the wheels can grip. I'm then walking in the slower four leg mode with the higher steps to see if we can make it over the object. And that seems to work not too badly, just controlling the robot manually. It would be good if I had a variable step height here, so it made it over the object much more easily. We could also use foot switches so it could tell when it's actually contacted the surface and keep trying until it makes progress. 
It's going to be a bit too small to climb up human sized stairs, but we can try two steps to see if it can make it up both of them, and that will give us a fair idea if this is a good prototype. Well, I didn't consider what would happen at the top, but we can do a separate test for walking downstairs. So you can see the middle legs get stuck, but if I move into two leg mode, then that seems to work perfectly well. And of course, it can walk in four leg mode for better traction if it really needs to, although the kinematics are a bit bad for steering, but let's talk more about that now. To make it steer better, of course, it will be better, as I said, if those legs moved sideways, so most of the other mini dogs and open dog have the third axis on the leg, and that allows it to sidestep, but also move in your rotating by effectively sidestepping around in a circle with the front and back legs moving in opposite directions so that it can turn on the spot. So for this robot, if the back legs did that, it would probably steer slightly better. And also if those front wheels were powered and could move directly sideways, then it could probably turn on the spot that would make it quite a lot more manoeuvrable. But I'm pretty happy with this prototype. Obviously it's just a prototype before I build anything bigger. It's always good to do a sort of scale model. It could have much more intelligence to navigate and do all those things I've been investigating in my channel. And of course foot sensing so that it could climb better. Perhaps we could even use machine learning to work out whether it's tipping and work out where there are obstacles contacting its feet and then use reinforcement learning to teach it to climb upstairs and do things better. But I really like the idea of having these extra limbs at the front. Perhaps even for Open Dog, we could have a couple of robot arms at the front that fold away and then they come out and it almost goes into six-legged mode so that it can walk upstairs and go over obstacles which are unpredictable so it doesn't tip over. And of course, otherwise it's just walking on diagonal pairs of legs which means there's quite a big tipping hazard if it doesn't move quick enough or if a foot gets stuck or something like that. So I'm not sure if I'd build it exactly like this if I was going to make one bigger, but I really like the idea here and I'm really glad that it actually works and it steers. And obviously there's some energy efficiency with rolling on wheels and just running along with the back legs as opposed to four legs as well. So there's quite a few things to think about in this project. I probably will develop this further or come up with some other concepts. So if you like this, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more. I'm going to be publishing this as open source as I do with all my projects. And you can find the CAD and code on GitHub and the link is in the description to this video. So if you'd like to support me through Patreon or YouTube channel membership, then those links are in the description to this video as well. And patrons and YouTube channel members can get access to all the videos up to a week early and sneak peeks and pictures of what's coming up and be part of that discussion. Alright, that's all for now.